Hey there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial here on the channel. This is actually for a Minecraft mod installation and this is for the Optifine mod. Now, if you've not heard of Optifine, Optifine is actually a Minecraft optimization mod that's been around for absolutely years and years and years. This has been quite a consistent Minecraft mod that's been updated as the game updates. And the whole point of the mod is to allow Minecraft to run faster and look better. So, you know, Minecraft should be more efficient, it should run smoother, and it's a really good mod to install if your computer actually struggles to actually run Minecraft in the first place. It can give you a lot more FPS and it can give you a smoother gameplay it can also give you more configuration options to make it so that uh, you can adjust the graphics and other things like that so that essentially you can again make minecraft run smoother on your computer now this installation tutorial is going to be for windows only and as of this video i'm going to be downloading and installing optifine for minecraft 1.20.1 now but this uh installation uh, steps or this tutorial can also be followed for future Minecraft versions as well as older ones so please bear that in mind now there are other features uh, of Optifine for a little bit more advanced like you know support for shaders dynamic lighting and other things like that um, I'm not going to be covering that in this tutorial I'm just going to be covering how to actually install the mod so that you can get the FPS boost in your gameplay now the first thing before we actually download Optifine itself you need to make sure you have Java installed on your computer now the reason why this is this is actually needed is because the Optifine installer is actually an executable jar or java file so you need java in the first place or the correct java version so that you can actually get it installed so in the link in the description there's going to be a link for java for windows the 64-bit version and if you use download java right here it should download the java runtime environment onto your computer it's a pretty uh, self-explanatory and easy installer just follow the installer instructions once you run the installer once it's downloaded and it should install java on your computer so now we're going to go back to optifine right here and also a link in the description is going to be the downloads page for optifine and as you can see right at the top of this uh, page right here we have minecraft 1.20.1 installation now this is a java mod this is not available for bedrock this is only for java edition now if you want an other version of optifine select the show all versions and it will output uh, older versions of minecraft now also please be aware that certain versions of minecraft like minecraft 1.20 only has preview versions available now what preview versions mean is essentially they are beta versions or um i guess uh test versions i suppose or beta versions of the mod so um if you want to use a preview version then by all means do but i would almost always get you to get the recommended version of optifine because it's less likely to contain bugs and stuff like that so once you find the correct version for you so i'm doing minecraft 1.20.1 but select the latest recommended mod version uh, for the minecraft version you want to do and then there's a download button so you can actually download the mod now when you start downloading it it will come up with this ad most of the time now if you wait a couple of seconds on the top right there should be a skip button so you can skip the ad that appears and it should then take you to a download page where you can download the mod now once it's actually been downloaded in your downloads you should have an optifine file and it should say the version of minecraft that it is actually targeting now if you have installed java properly it should say that it is an executable jar file okay and if you double click on this it should come up with an Optifine installer like this. Now, this is the reason why you need Java installed so that this installer can actually 
appear. Now, once you've actually done this, this Optifine installer actually handles it all for you. So what this installer does is that it creates a version of Minecraft with the Optifine mod installed, and then it creates a new profile called Optifine. And I'm going to show you where that appears in just a moment here. Now, if you select install, it will then proceed to add uh, Minecraft to your computer. Now, once you've actually done that, and then you can go to your Minecraft launcher. And if you have installed Optifine correctly, there should be a profile for Optifine in the uh, drop down area or the selector right here. And you can also see it in the installation area of the Minecraft Java Edition tab. And um, all you need, all you then need to do is select Optifine and select Play, and it should then launch Minecraft with Optifine installed. Now, once you actually launch Minecraft, it should say that it is modded in the in the bottom left right here, and that is an indication that it has actually worked. And then, if you launch a Minecraft world, the version of Minecraft you're using should be pretty much identical to vanilla Minecraft or un unmodded. The only difference is that you should get a much bigger performance boost. So you should find that your FPS is much more improved and you can actually, you know, <laughs> have a much more smoother ride with Minecraft. And you may also find as well that your chunk generation for your world should also improve as well because Minecraft will be able to generate your world in a much more smooth manner. All right, everyone, that's about it for this quick Minecraft mod tutorial. Hopefully you found this useful in terms of how to install Optifine for Minecraft on Windows. And, uh, you know, this should work for Windows 11, Windows 10, all that good stuff. And it's a pretty simple procedure. They've made the Optifine installer very easy to run. And you just need to install it and then that's that. Now, when it comes to Optifine, if you install a future version of Optifine, um, you can also remove the old installations of Optifine from the Minecraft launcher uh, so that you do not get <laughs> completely swamped by different Minecraft versions on your computer. So please bear that in mind. And uh, thank you for watching. If you did find this video useful, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure that you hit the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos here on the channel. And yeah, have fun with this mod and configuring it and making it making your Minecraft experience a lot smoother. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you have a nice day. Stay happy and healthy as always. And bye bye.